Welcome to 100 Days of Trailhead, where the tech community comes to learn Salesforce, learn tech, get inspired, and invest in ourselves. We are your trail guides, here to support you on your learning journey. We release videos weekly. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. In the description below, you can find links for everything we mention in this video, as well as books and resources we found useful. Visit our blog, 100daysoftrailhead.com, for other helpful Salesforce and tech content. There are so many aspects of the nonprofit world that are different than the for-profit world of business. Ever wonder how to get the most out of your Salesforce nonprofit instance? You are in the right place. Today, Melissa Hildes discusses key tips for nonprofits. Nonprofits have many unique business processes, including donor management, grant management, volunteer management, and much more. Melissa Hildes discusses how nonprofits can leverage Nonprofit Cloud for their organizations. Melissa is a founding partner and VP of Hands On Connect Cloud Solutions. Hi, I'm Melissa Hildes, and I have been around the Salesforce ecosystem for about 10 years now, working in nonprofits altogether about 15 years, and excited to share with you some tips, my top five tips, I think, that you really need to consider on leveraging nonprofit cloud. So first off, you want to get to know your people. And I say this because amazingly, Salesforce, when it was originally created, was created with accounts as the base of that customer relationship management tool. And I have been in sales for years and years and years and years. And even if you're in fundraising, that's still a form of sales. So both in the corporate world and the nonprofit area, I have to tell you, I've never, ever sold anything to a company. I have always sold something to a person. So Nonprofit Cloud still uses that account-based model, but if you leverage it appropriately, then people are really the core. So another hazard that nonprofits face is siloing information, especially around people, right? The fundraising team knows who donates what, and they may even know who they should prioritize to collect more donations. The volunteer manager knows who's volunteering, but does the fundraising team know that volunteers are twice as likely to donate as those who don't volunteer? Do they know who is volunteering so they can prioritize from a fundraising standpoint? The nonprofit cloud offers a 360 degree view of that person so that donations, volunteering, other engagements, what about relationships and affiliations? So the next time a fundraiser needs a venue to host a farm to table dinner, do they know that my husband is the president of the board of directors for the farmer's market? Or if they're looking for a big name sponsor, do they know that my best friend is the HR director at the local 3M plant? So rather than keeping all that data siloed, you want to be sure that you allow your team to leverage the overall data. Your fundraisers are looking for impact data they can share. Is that front and center for them? or is it only available to your program managers? Do they know that 100,000, I can't even say the word, 109,863 guests and volunteers have been served meals? That's the information that they can use. So breaking down the silos and leveraging that overall information, data can truly become actionable. And isn't that really the reason that you collect all that information to begin with? Secondly, <clears throat> important tip, automate what can be automated. That way your team has the time to do the things that can't be automated. In the latest report, 26% um, of customers said that they reduced operational costs due to Salesforce. There are so many built-in automations that can be leveraged in nonprofit cloud. Engagement plans is probably the unsung hero that folks don't realize can be set up used as a reminder. I don't know about you all, but if it doesn't pop up on my calendar to be done today, I can't guarantee it'll happen. But as a fundraiser, as a group manager, engagement plans give you those reminders and automate things to go out to increase and encourage people to be more engaged with your organization. Roll-ups. Why would you ever take the time to add something in this day and age? Roll-ups can do that for you automatically. 
Grant management is another tool that helps you not have to do all the things that have to be done. App Exchange partner tools put responsibility back out there for volunteers to be able to sign themselves up. So use those automations. And don't miss out on the free stuff. Salesforce.org offers a lot of tools that you can leverage even beyond those free Power of Us licenses. The Salesforce Pro Bono program allows you to have small projects done in collaboration with a Salesforce employee at no additional cost. Get them to help you set up an engagement plan. That's just the type of thing that they can do. Open source community projects, products. If you haven't been to an open source community sprint, attend one. And if you can't attend one, look and see what's available from open source commons. Things like the outbound funds grant management tool is there. And Salesforce Labs, all the products for Salesforce Labs on App Exchange are free and can be incredibly useful, even though they're not specifically targeted normally to nonprofits. Get involved. This is a key to leveraging everything. Community counts for so much. Nonprofit community groups, WIT Devs is a great community group if you're not already involved. Community sprints, you'll see the, the picture here is from the open source community sprint in Philadelphia. The Power of Us Hub has tons of answers for everyday questions. And there are so many other resources from the standard Salesforce ecosystem. Don't forget to take advantage of what .com has to offer just because you're .org. And then make good governance decisions. And this is probably the best way to leverage the nonprofit cloud. You see the cute little puppy there because the analogy that I always use is Salesforce nonprofit cloud, nonprofit success pack, those 10 free power of us licenses are like a free puppy. The real expense comes when you have to feed that puppy and maintain that puppy and take that puppy for his shots and take him to the vet. So make good governance decisions around your implementation of Salesforce Nonprofit Cloud. Will the standard functionality do? Will that be easy to maintain? If you add an app exchange product, does support come with that product? So that's something that your team doesn't have to maintain. Do you have someone who has the knowledge and can document any declarative improvements that you make in your organization? Do you need actually to have bespoke applications, those, those custom applications? You might have to consider hiring that done. And does that come with support? So every time that you customize, and it's so easily and highly customizable to fit your specific needs, remember the governance decisions that you need to make around how are you going to maintain that going forward? You may get a great deal up front on that free puppy, but the real expense and the real problems are going to come down the road when you need to maintain all of that. So just a few ways that that I hope you will take to heart on um, getting the most out of nonprofit cloud. What is your favorite tip Melissa provided? Comment below. We would also love to hear what video topics you want us to cover in future videos in the comments. If you've made it to this point, we want to take an opportunity to say thank you. Since you stayed with us, here's a bonus. Nonprofits can start with NPSP, Nonprofit Success Pack with Salesforce.org and grow into the nonprofit cloud that has even more offerings focused on nonprofits. NPSP comes with 10 free Salesforce licenses for nonprofits, and there is a special Salesforce paperwork to fill out that can be found on Salesforce.org to begin this application process. Thank you for spending time with us. Please like and subscribe to our channel because we share weekly content to support your tech and Salesforce learning journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. Connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on 100daysoftrailhead.com, all of which are listed below. Thank you for learning with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.